welcome back to JOJ. It is October 9th. Yeah, I got a note of it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, I hope you all are doing well. And if you caught our live last week, we were in Texas. Mm -hmm. And I think it's my favorite live that we did <laughs> from the Mustang. From the Mustang driver down I-20 maybe? I don't know where we drove, yeah. but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was a lot of fun. It was a good weekend. It was a good weekend. Um, and we talked about our word of the month being failure. Mm -hmm. um, so that's, you know, a big part of everybody's life because we all fail. Yeah. Okay. So the definition of failure, the first one is lack of success. And then the second one is the action or state of not functioning. <laughs> you really like that one. I did, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, so we thought we've got four Sundays this month. Mm -hmm. Um, so we had to find four ways to break up failure. Yeah. And as Aunt said to Jake earlier, we've pretty much nearly failed <laughs> getting that done. <laughs> Doing that. Um, so yeah, sometimes it's like, we'll get a word and we think, oh, this is really going to be easy. Mm -hmm. Like we can talk about this, you know, just, you know, find some good things in the Bible and relate to it. And then we get to the day and we're like a deer in headlights. At least yeah. I was. And, and that, for sure. And because Jenny allowed me to do most of the research last few day, last day or two, and I was really, I mean, I, I had I had a plan. My plan kind of failed. So, <laughs> um, so we got over here and in, in, in the last fifteen minutes, kind of scrapped it and then started over. We started over, and, and I, I think we've got a good program ahead. So we'll, <laughs> we'll see. see. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. Um. So yeah. So today, I guess, I, did we really have a title? For today? Kind of what, what does Just, failure mean to okay. you? Yeah, is, is what, yeah, is okay. what, yeah. Yeah, that, you know, we always do the definition the first week of the month or, you know, the first episode of the month. And then what the title of this one is, what does failure mean to you? Um, that's kind of what this one is. And then we've got a couple of verses here to share. Do you want me to do that or do you want to? Whichever. Okay. I'll do the first one. You can do the second one. Okay. All right. So the first verse, Psalm seventy three twenty six, says, My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Okay. And then the second one is Jeremiah 8, 4. Say to them, this is what the Lord says. When people fall down, do they not get up? When someone turns away, do they not return? Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, and and I think that I really like that second verse there from Jeremiah um, about what failure means to me. I, I don't want to say all of it, you know, right at the beginning, kind of come back hopefully, and and sum <laughs> that up a little bit with with that verse here in a little bit. But um, like Jenny said, we're, we are. I mean, failures is a part of life. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. for for every single one of us, that's something we're going to deal with at some point in time. And uh, some of the, the upcoming weeks, we're going to talk about, you know, different ways to handle that and, and different parts of failure. But, you know, it, it's a, a big part with failure is while well, you don't want it to happen, you do have to kind of, I feel like mentally set yourself to know that at some point in time, you are going to deal with it. You're going, you are going to, uh, you know, have to have yeah. to deal with that at some point in time in your life. So it, it's, it's kind of that. So in some ways, that mental aspect of being like, I don't, I don't want this to happen. I'm going to try to avoid it, but also not letting it really define you or not letting it be, you know, who you are. And and a big part of that is, you know, once you have failed, to get back up again, as it says here, when people fall down, do they not get up? That's that's to me what failure should look like. Mm -hmm. We we know what's going to happen at some point in time. <laughs> But if you just stay in that, that is really, to me, that's true failure. Yeah. Is, you know, that's truly, we all are going to fail. We're going to have times we mess up. We're going to have times when we're not functioning properly. <laughs> um, <laughs> but staying in that failure, to me, is the true definition of yeah. it. Yeah. And, and it makes me think of, which I think I elaborated on our live of a sermon that our pastor did just mm -hmm. a few weeks ago and it's really funny because like we did a whole thing on I guess it was on marriage mm -hmm. and like some of the stuff he was preaching about like yeah. was directly related to what we were talking about on our thing yeah. and then the other day he, he or I guess it was about three weeks ago did a sermon on um well, what was the title of it I just kind of rewatched it last night yeah it, he spoke about repentance in it but about worldly overcoming yeah failure worldly sorrow and we're going to really mess that up. 
one thing he did say was it, it's important to not label yourself as a failure. Yeah. Like it's so easy because, you know, you're going to fail more than one time. So it's easy to say I have failed. Mm -hmm. But then you get in that mindset of saying I am a failure. Mm -hmm. And that's obviously not good. Yeah. Um, so it's it's important that even though if you have failed at something that you don't adopt that into it's like what you were saying mm -hmm. to not define yourself mm -hmm. as a failure yes you failed but it's what you do next is yeah. you know yeah. the important part of that so we've got <laughs> we, we've a, we asked the kids you know what does failure mean to them and uh, and here's what they had to say about that what does failure mean to you um failure means to me not not doing what you thought you could or not achieving your goals but failure isn't like the ultimate end like you can correct yourself so it's not like a oh i failed i'm never gonna get better it's like oh i failed i have to get better okay our word of the month is failure okay. so i want you each to describe a time that you feel like you failed and what did you how was your response to that failure? You go first. Okay. So I have a time in basketball. Look at the camera. I have a time in basketball where I was going in for, like, no, I was I was point guard and I was walking another point and I passed it to somebody that wasn't open and they got a steal. So I feel like that was a failure and I ran back down the court and I blocked it. So I fixed my failure by making them turn it over. So um, our turnover was awesome another turnover for them. Okay. Sis, um, real deep in your failure. Um, so mine was at my last volleyball game whenever um, I felt like I failed my team, but um, I just fixed it by realizing that it wasn't just my fault and that I don't have to carry the burden of it. So that's kind of how I fixed my failure. Why is Noni's better than mine? Hers was a little deeper on the sentimental side. Well, I didn't really have the other thing. Because you don't fail. Exactly. <laughs> oh. I don't fail in life, at least. At least my, I don't <laughs> Bye, guys. So, as you can see, with kids, what they view as their failures mm -hmm. is probably much different than, um, you know, of course, we've got middle school and and high school right now so as a young adult mm -hmm. um you know if college kids or if you're young and married or young and single like your failures might be something totally different than of a child and then same as adults yeah um you know because i kind of think i mean for us in the heat of parenting i can say that i fail a lot <laughs> in that category there are some days that i am an amazing mom and they are so happy and they love me and you know i they say thank you every now and then mm -hmm. and then there are other days that they're like don't talk to mom <laughs> yeah i mean there's it's usually <laughs> yeah i don't know it, it it comes and goes <laughs> ebbs and flows and and it, there's no, no doubt about that and that's i i know there's been several key instances <laughs> where i where i have failed as a as a parent um uh sometimes uh, to parenting other people's kids well Maybe, but uh, I, don't know. I mean, they said I did a good job. They, they appreciated it. Um, but uh, one in particular, and I think I've mentioned it before about my love of sports, you know, especially with, with uh, kids' athletics and, you know, with, with that stuff of how, just how much time that it takes and, you know, how enthusiastic I am to, to be doing all that um, in the rest of our busy schedule and what little bit of time it seems like I'm home and, yeah, just how how happy I am to be, you know, going to all their sports stuff, and that there have been so times I failed. So, what are you saying that you have failed at uh, at supporting. being a supportive father? Yes, yes. With, with my with my kids. I mean, I'm not going to deny. I've I have said more than once. You know, I'm like oh, I'm so thankful God gave them their abilities and their love for things. But sometimes I wish their love would have been for coming home after school, mm -hmm. sitting quietly. Yeah. Reading a book. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that would be okay. Um, uh, kind of switching gears a little bit in, in my in my world, in my line of work, um, you know, I, I look at small failures and big failures. 
you know, a small failure would be getting a backlash. You know, going to cast under somebody's under a dock and hitting the dock instead of and getting a backlash or the bait not going where I mean it to versus you know losing a fish and lo not winning the tournament because of a lost fish or missing a cut or you know whatever it may be. Um, those what's funny is those small failures throughout the day can end up leading to a big one. Mm -hmm. You know, just in just in my job you know making some errant casts throughout the day where you didn't catch a fish that you would have caught with a better cast leads you to making the cut or leads you to winning the tournament or whatever it may be so and and just on just on the casting part of that and and i this is a, a thing that kind of transcends into the into i feel like all parts of life it's not how bad how bad of a cast i make this one time it's how quick do I fix that and then make the next good one? So it's a, a big thing with failure to me. It's not, and it's kind of where we started with and, mm -hmm. and really that verse of Jeremiah 8, 4. It's not if you mess up or when you mess up. Yeah. It's how quick you recover. That's mm -hmm. That to me is, is a lot of what, what Jeremiah 8, 4 is saying there. We got to expect to mess up. Mm -hmm. It's going to happen. We are human. That's part of our makeup. Um, it's not, it's not, yeah, and and in some ways, I mean, you should tr do your best to avoid messing up really bad. Yeah, <laughs> you should avoid those bad failures at all costs, if if possible. But if you if you get into that situation, you have failed terribly. It's okay. Move forward from that. Mm -hmm. Repent of it. Move forward and try to do the next right thing. Yeah. That's that's kind of kind of the big deal there. Exactly, and it kind of goes into you know last month we talked about repentance and all the steps you take with that and it's kind of with failure like you failed and um you know if if there's something you need to repent of you do that and you know we're thankful that we have you know god he, he forgives us and he knows we're gonna fail mm -hmm. um and again i think it's just how we get back up is what determines the next step so. absolutely so we'll read these verses again and i think we'll We'll wrap it up. So, uh, Psalm seventy three twenty six. My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Yeah. And then Jeremiah eight four. Say to them, This is what the Lord says: When people fall down, do they not get up? When someone turns away, do they not return? All right. Well, thank y'all for watching, and we will catch you here next week. Mm -hmm.